All right, so it's that time again. I got some requests to react to the presidents making a tier list, but this time it has nothing to do with Sonic. It is Trump, Biden, and Obama making a tier list about Five Nights at Freddy's characters. So um, this is a three-part series, so I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I wanted to see what it was about because it piqued my interest. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright, so here it is. It says exactly what I said what I said. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Original video, link in the description. So with that being said, let's get into this. If they put Freddy Prosper low, I'm gonna be upset. What's good, gentlemen? You ready to rank some metal furries? Fucking these games scare the shit out of me, Brock. I have to take like 10 fucking lopramide so I don't shit myself whenever <laughs> I play the, these Okay, dogs. okay, hold, hold up. From the way this is going so far, I'm gonna say if you, like, have any trigger warning to offensive words, I recommend hopping off. Sleepy Joe, century old, colon aside. Let's rank these characters quick cause. At this point, there's more Freddy's characters than there are years of Joe's lifespan. Yeah, let's get this God shit over Joe got me waiting to go play golf with her thick ass. All right, then. Looks like we're going in game order. Uh, let's start with the big dickhead, Honcho himself, Freddy Fazbear. Scott deadass forgot he was the main antagonist, C tier at best. C tier, okay, you that's can't fair. put the main that's antagonist fair. in C tier. Well, I mean, like, Show come on, he, he's classics. not that important, the only really. He's relevant is because he's on the fucking title, Barack. He's useless otherwise. Actually, I think that Freddy was pretty spooky in the first game. I like how he always hid in the shadows. He was darker than Barack at some points. I swear. Jesus, not even a minute into the video, and we got a fucking black joke already. Jesus. I'd say S tier for Freddy out of respect. What about you, Biden? <laughs> I would I'd say S, I'd say tier. We should save the top tier for some better characters, Rick. family. Agreed. All right, A tier for Freddy, then. All Next right. up is Bonnie. Bonnie is lit. He's definitely cooler yes. than Freddy, for I sure. Like, I like Bonnie a lot. Bonnie's an S tier for me. If you guys want me to do my O tier list, let me know. I'd argue a A tier again for Bonnie Barack. Well, I'd say S tier if we think he's cooler than I agree Freddy. with Trump for once. Even if he's an annoying bunny bitch from time to time. All right, S tier for Bonnie. Chica is next. Chica is fucking useless. Can we all agree? Yes, Lame F. Lame-ass character, F. D tier for sure. Only there to be a woman. I'd say C tier out of respect, but yeah, Chica is lame. I guess she still is a classic. Um, hey, fine. We'll put her in C. Next up is Foxy. He's yes, in my opinion. As for sure, Foxy is I don't cool. know. Y'all serious? Foxy is the most okay. overrated character. Foxy's overrated, I get that but... he's cool, but holy shit, let's be more original and put him in A at best. Sleepy Joe out here with another shit take. Don't listen to his wrinkly ass, bro. I don't know about S. I'd say low S tier. Foxy is an easy low S, S, S tier. literally shit on Biden. Next up is Goldilocks. F tier, <laughs> F tier easily. Scott, what the fuck even is this character at this point? F tier, <laughs> stop capping Don. Goldie is at least an A. Golden Freddy is pretty fucking confusing, but overall, I think he's neat. Yeah, Put his a. ass in A Barack. Matt I'd Pat say a, I, okay. I'd say uh, Golden Freddy is A or B for me. I don't. I don't really know. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. Literally ruined this character. He's F tier in my heart. Just I don't know. Matt Pat ruined it. He just done, answered everyone's things. questions. Chill your asses out. It's time for the second game. <laughs> Chill your First asses up on the out. list is fat ass Toy Freddy. Toy Freddy doesn't do much in his mm, premiere see. game. But he has a lot of personality in his other appearances, like UCN. Don't forget yeah, special delivery. Yeah, Shut the fuck up, Barack. Don't mention that rancid game's name. Hey. Anyways, Toy Freddy is neat, but doesn't do much. I'd say B tier. All right, B tier. Oh, for B -tier, the fat tier. Ass, okay. Then what about Toy Bonnie? Dude, dead ass uh, looks a like a twink. Goddamn. Toy Bonnie may look like a goofy ass twink, but he's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Oh Put my the twink God. in B tier and move on for the love of God. I never want to use the word twink again. Jesus. All right, how about? Holy shit, god damn! A work of F. art. Holy shit. No, fuck. no. Right now. Holy shit. No. You horny old men, no. shut your yeah. goofy asses up. Agreed. Toy Agreed, Chica Obama. Toy is only popular cause of simps like you. Jesus, Barack, it was a joke. Shut your hospital blowing ass up. I don't like Toy Chica. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a joke. Come on. For the love of fuck, <laughs> Sleepy Joe, don't tell me you're actually horny for the plastic bird. Aside from the obvious, there isn't much going on with Toy Chica. She has a good voice, I'll give her that. I guess, okay. I, I, I like her more than regular Chica. I just, her reputation makes her an F for me. So I'd say, but if we're not including that, I'd say A. Because I, I do think she is pretty creepy without the beak. But I'll, plus she was the first jump scare I ever got. Because, um, uh, in FNAF 2. But besides that, if we're including reputation, then F. B tier with the rest of the toys. I'd put her in C tier in spite of the simps. 
That's actually a good fucking idea for once, Donald, and I'm impressed. C tier for the bird. I totally smashed though. Obama go on to the next character before. Oh, Sweet Mangle. Jerry Mangle's an A tier. Mangle's cool. All right like then. Mangle. What do we think about Mangle, gentlemen? Isn't Mangle one of them non-binaries? Donald, don't even fucking think don't, about opening that can of anyway. Yeah, Mangle is cool. Agreed, as fuck. Obama. Cool as Foxy, fucking agreed. Don't. Still you a dare. really neat design. That's not. Wasn't nice. Mangle the one that did the bite of '87? Joe, don't so. open that can of worms either. I'm thinking S tier <laughs> for Mangle. Nah, fuck that B tier. Pick no. a gender, you stupid trash pile. Oh, God, fine. We'll split the difference. I'm putting trigger warning in the title. title. All right, what about Balloon Boy? F tier. F -tier. Couldn't have said it better myself, gentlemen. But what about JJ? Why the fuck did you scream, JJ? Look, I like Balloon Boy, okay? Yeah, I know. I know. I like Balloon Boy. I think he's underrated. I think he's annoying, but I think he has a cool charm. I think him and JJ are pretty fucking cool. I'd say C tier. JJ like that. I don't know. I don't know what came over me. Anyways, I don't give a flying fuck about JJ. Same here. Honestly, a waste of <laughs> yes, I don't the UCN <laughs> roster. That could have been fun time Freddy. Base take Donald. Aww. I'd say only D tier yeah, for JJ, guess, though, since her still. presence doesn't raise my blood levels, unlike BB. D tier for JJ, then. Now onto the puppet. I think this might be the easiest S tier, S -tier of the list S -tier. so far. S tier. The design story. is Such so scary. Design. It, there's nothing wrong with this character. Actually, Sleepy Bats. Joe, there's one problem with Charlie over here. That music box mechanic is so fucking annoying. I yeah, but it's unique. The box is quite irritating. But that doesn't have anything to do with the puppet itself, Donald. It's got to be an S tier for me. It's exactly. S tier for me. Look too. at the design. That's creepy. Joe, That's creepy. Fine. For the sake of moving on, put her in S. All if right, Wither Bonnie gentlemen. doesn't get S tier, I'm going to be we're pissed. Now on to the Withers. What do we think of Withers? All S tiers. All the Withers are S tier. Withered Freddy's office render is pretty tight. Almost as tight as Melania. That's Cap Donald. Her box is as loose as it gets. But Withered Freddy still is no! dope. There's a reason why he's on all the merch boxes. Agree put the bear in then I don't really give a fuck. All right, then. What about Withered Bonnie? The S, no face gimmick S, is really cool, S, I gotta admit. Creepy. I agree. Scary. Definitely Best the one. most iconic of the Withered animatronics. For that alone, I'd say he should go in S tier. I'd personally say A tier for Withered Bonster, but I'm okay with S tier. Bonster? What the fuck? Anyways, <laughs> S tier for Withered Bonnie. Next is Withered right. Chica. Oh, Damn, Withered Chica is the best Chica. Pretty she's so scary, scary, if you ask me. Right? Yes, I think we can all agree that -tier. Withered Chica is one of the most terrifying animatronics in the franchise. Agreed. I'd say A tier for both her design and pretty decent voice as well. I guess the A tier is fine, but we seriously need to be giving more low rankings. The top racks are getting pretty stacked already. Don't worry, we'll get to more mid shit eventually. Anyways, next is Withered Foxy. Mm. A good design for sure, I'd but say definitely not as solid of a design as Classic Foxy. Oh, come on. Probably it's better than Classic Foxy. Not to mention how fucking annoying he is in FNAF 2. Seriously, he makes the game so much harder. That's true, Donnie. That's the but point. Without yeah, Foxy, Foxy, the game would be easy as shit. I'd say B tier as well for the crippled pirate. I would go C tier. It's better than the original. Whatever. But since when do you whatever. listen to my opinions? Never, Don. The answer is never. All right, what about Withered Golden Freddy? F tier. Nah, Throw it's the more iconic, the so I'd Jesus, say... man, stop molding over Golden Freddy. I'd say B. Anyways, Withered uh. Golden Freddy isn't as interesting as the one from the first game, but he's still pretty neat nonetheless. Shut your ass up, Sleepy Joe. This character is just mysterious for no reason. This one should get an <laughs> F minus tier for that. Donald, Come the on. amount of coping that you're doing is off the charts right now. Anyways, I agree with the fact that Withered Goldie is inferior to Classic Goldie, and therefore I'm thinking C tier. I go with B tier, Rick. but C's fine with me. All right, what do we... Th okay, I think our OG Golden Freddy should get C tier, but Wither Golden Freddy should get B tier. I don't know. I used to really like Golden Freddy, but nowadays I just, it's too fucking confusing. It makes me not like the character because of how confusing it is. However, that's just my opinion. What do you think about RDQS Feus ACC? Fucking hell. Brock awesome design. design awesome Bar. design. Anyways, awesome he's design. definitely RXQ a more interesting Easter egg than some others. Not to mention he got a big glow up in UCN and the Agreed. other game that shall not be named. Despite wow. being Toy Bonnie but black, he still is interesting. I'd go B tier for Shadow Bond. That's Although fair. Although I prefer Shadow Freddy. All right, there's a Shadow B -tier. Freddy is cooler. Also, I like the purple. Mouth, Joe, holy shit. Anyways, speaking of which, next is Shadow Freddy. I'd say yes. Better than Shadow Bonnie solely because purple is cooler than black. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Trump? Can we? Shadow Freddy is sick, but unfortunately, he hasn't gotten into a game ever since. Already, I'm tired of these. I'm already tired dude of these. Dude got seriously shafted. <laughs> and due to that, I think he should go to B tier with his shadow brethren. Any objections? Whatever, yeah, it's fine. Fair, Come on, let's get this over with, so we can talk about security breach already. No, that's uh, like seven more games away, man.
Literally never ask Sleepy Joe, shut your geriatric ass up. God <laughs> damn, these guys are pulling no punches. I mean, the who? Pulling, oh, fuck. The paper pals, Sleepy <gasps> S-tier, Joe. S-tier, 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 paper S-tier, dolls S-tier, that hang on the walls of the restaurant I love the occasionally pals. move as an Easter egg. I love it's paper debatable pals. Paper pals. as to whether they're actual characters or not, but whatever, I don't give a shit about them, but they don't make me angry either. I just say D tier. Literally don't give a shit, just move on to FNF3 Barack. Uh, Alright then, let's finish up the third game. Okay, hold up. Where's Endo 01 and Endo 02? Endo 01 for me would be like a D tier, and Endo 02 would be a B tier for me. Of course, we're starting with Springtrap. Easiest S of my life. Yeah, it's been said to death already, but Springtrap's design is absolute peak five nights at Freddy's character design. Not to mention, he perfectly fits hey. Fazbear's Fright's theme, too. Hey. It's basically a moral obligation really to like put Springtrap in S tier, but nobody's going really to disagree with us. No. Put Willie in S Barack. Springtrap is boring and lame now. They overused them. Burn Trap kind of ruined them for me. Finally, a good take that we all agree on. Now let's get the Phantoms out of the way because nobody gives a shit about <laughs> it. Fuck you! First up is Phantom BB. Fuck you, Don't dude! Don't give a shit. It's Balloon Boy, but he jump scares you now. F tier. That was quick. All right, but what about Phantom Freddy? Phantom He's Freddy, definitely B a more tier, interesting B tier, Phantom. B tier. Especially when he walks by your window in the third game. It's so Otherwise, cool. though, he's not that special. All right, I'll just throw him in C tier, then I don't give Fuck a fuck. Fuck off. Phantom Mangle is next. Uh, Dude C-tier. literally just spews static at you. Doesn't even have a jump scare. Um, actually, he has one in Help Wanted. Sleepy Joe, don't fucking, um, actually me. Just throw the trash heap in D tier or C tier, Barack. Let's keep going. All right, just three more characters left, gentlemen. Then we can end the first part. Next is Phantom Foxy. I'll admit, I do like S-tier. that he lost his hook. Phantom Foxy is awesome. My say. favorite Foxy. We don't talk for the rest of this fucking video. Oh, okay. Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say? Cash money, as the kids say. Joe Foxy. <laughs> I'll admit, I do like that he lost his hook. That's pretty cash money, as the kids say. Joe, don't talk for the rest of this fucking video. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> Phantom Foxy has an annoying mechanic. And the only difference between him and Withered Foxy is the texture changes, just like the rest of the Phantoms. I swear the, the Phantoms point would have of benefited much more if Scott just decided to give them unique designs, the lazy oh. fuck. Put Foxy in C tier. And while you're at it, put the watermelon in D tier. Oh, yeah, come on. The meme alone, A tier. Come on. Jokes. Thank fuck for Funaf World's existence. Funaf World, yeah, Anyways, last is the Funaf Phantom World. Puppet. Phantom, Phantom Puppet, Puppet cool ass design. has a unique and interesting mechanic. That's basically the only thing saving it from D tier as well. Yeah, but otherwise the dude got fucking shafted. Literally hasn't appeared in any mainline game since his debut. What a chode licker. I'd say put him in C tier <sighs> to wrap this up nicely, Barack. I need to get back to Melania already, for fuck's sake. All right, then. We're done with the third game. We'll pick this up next time, gentlemen. Fucking finally. Oh, my Jesus God. Jesus Christ, this is going to be torture. Can I speak now? Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that w- <laughs> that was uh, the presidents make FNAF tier list part one. Oh my god, they use some um, controversial words, <laughs> some harsh words at that as well, and also some of their opinions on the FNAF characters. I didn't really agree with, but overall, it was a lot of funnyness. I meant to say. It was very funny. I very much enjoyed it for the most part. And um, yeah, if you guys want me to react to part two and three, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know your guys' opinions on the characters that were talked about in today's video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.